Hey, y'all. So I just did my November wrap-up, uh, what I'm reading now, and a book haul. I am now going to be doing my review on Amityville Horror by Jay Anson, and it's compared to the movie. Um, I know I probably should have done this in October, and I know it's December, and no one really reads horror now, but hey, what are you going to do? So first thing I have to say is, I read or I watched the Amityville Horror movie before I read the book. Of course, the movie and the book are nothing alike. Absolutely nothing alike. Um, the movie has actually scared me. Well, when I first saw it, it scared me. And everyone said the book was so scary, and they couldn't even finish it. It was so scary. Blah blah blah. I'm Sorry, but I didn't really get the scariness factor. Um, it just, I don't know. I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars just because I think it could, I understand that it's a true story, so like it couldn't have been scarier, um, even though like they did it in the movie. But I just, I feel like it's not, I, I'm no, it was scary for them going through it. But reading it, it really wasn't that scary. Um, so I can't really, like, I don't know. First, I'm going to go with the book. If I'm just basing it off the book, it was kind of well written. It kind of jumped from person to person. Um, I liked how they added these little map things, especially if you haven't seen the movie and so you didn't really know what it was about. Um, you wouldn't have really understood it, kind of, um, because me having seen the movie already, I kind of had an idea, even though the movie and the book are 100% different, I kind of had an idea. I had, like, pictures. Um, when I was reading the book, I did, I, I myself pictured what happened in the movie and who was in the movie, but I know it was totally different, um, but I still, I kind of had the same characters in my head, like Ryan Gosling, what, wait, was it Ryan Gosling? I'm not sure, but whoever played the characters in the movie, I kind of had their own little movie going on in, within the book, um which I don't know whether it was, that's a good thing or not, but if you don't know what this is about, this is a true story about a couple, uh, the Lutz family, in December of 1975, moved into the uh, Amityville house. It is a real house. It really did happen. Um, the people before them, I think it's happened every year before, like every family that's lived there before the Lutzes. No, no, it hasn't. Never mind. I lied. Sorry. Okay. What happened was Ron Ronald, I was going to say Ronnie, Ronald DeFeo um, lived with his family there, and um, I guess voices made him um, murder his parents and his siblings lying uh, in their bed, and he, he just shot them. And then... I don't know if he, no, he went to jail, or did he kill himself? I'm not sure exactly, um, because what happened in the movie and what happened in here is totally different. In the movie, he went to jail, and here I don't remember if he went to jail or, or if they even said if he went to jail or killed himself, but he killed his parents and his, his two brothers, I believe, brothers and sisters, I believe he had two of each, um, so then I guess uh, the Lutz has moved in, and, of course, all these hauntings are happening. Um, like, there's flies everywhere. There's a whole bunch of different, uh, like, shadows. There's this mysterious room that's painted red downstairs. Uh, the dog won't go downstairs, which uh, everybody says that dogs have a lot more psychic power than humans do. Um, what else? Like, slime was on the wall, windows fell on people's hands, uh, this girl can see this, uh, their daughter can see this, uh, pig named Dodie, which 
And okay, so that's that's my review of the book. It was good. It was written kind. It was written halfway decent. It could have been a little better. Um, I'm not going to review the actual story because the story was true. Um, so the story part of it, I'm going to just review with the movie because um, I can't really say, oh well, the story was stupid because it was a true story. Um, but okay, now compared with the movie was 100% different. In the book, they constantly go back and forth from the Lutz family to the priest that came to help them. In the movie, the priest comes once and then he's out of the picture. Um, number two, in this one, the dog lives. In the movie, uh, the father kills the dog. In this book, er, in the book version, they actually kind of like treasure the dog, and they have the dog go around to see if they can, if the dog can see anything, um, and they keep the dog inside. Blah blah blah. In the movie, uh, the father kind of goes insane and decides to kill the dog. Um, in the movie, the girl see she sees a a girl named Jody. In here, the girl girl says that the dog, or the, there's like a pig named Jody, um, which is really weird. Like, I, I really don't understand that. Um, in the movie, she says, because Jody is one of uh, Ryan, Ronald DeFeo's sisters that he killed. Um, in the movie, there's a babysitter that comes over, and the babysitter knows the family, tells the kids what happened. Um, like, the movie is just, Everything that happens in the movie did not happen in this. Everything that happened in this did not happen in the movie. Um, I don't know the, whether that's good or bad. Um, if I would choose, I would rather watch the movie than read the book again, um, just because the movie actually kind of scared me. This did not. Um, also, in the movie, at the end of the, like getting to the end of the movie, the, the father goes insane and starts wanting to kill everybody because the voices are telling to them to catch him and kill him. Um, which it does mention catchment in here, um, but not to the extent that it does in the movie. Um, at the end of the movie, there's a whole big fight scene where the guy is going to kill the wife and the kids, and then they get put him on a boat, and they run, run away, and he's perfectly fine. In here, that never happened. Um, the father never went insane. The voices were never in his head. He heard voices. He heard, like, a marching band downstairs, but he never, like, went insane. Um. It just, it was 100% different. Like I said, I would rather watch the movie than read this book. Um, but I do recommend the book if you actually um, like true crime like I do. Um, this is a good book. It does um, kind of freak you out. Uh, it doesn't really scare you, in my opinion. But it's worth the read. Um, so, yeah, that would be my review and compare on that. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Um, sorry if I spoiled anything, if you haven't seen the movie or haven't read the book. Um, so, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video.